Báo cáo của Hiệp hội các nhà sản xuất ô tô Việt Nam gọi tắt là Vama cho biết, 7 tháng đầu năm, doanh số bán ra của toàn thị trường ô tô Việt Nam đạt gần 78.000 chiếc, tăng 32% so với cùng kỳ năm ngoái. Cụ thể, đến hết tháng 7, toàn thị trường đã bán ra được hơn 49,3 ngàn xe con và 28,6 ngàn xe tải, tăng lần lượt là 34% và 28% so với cùng kỳ năm 2013. Doanh số bán hàng của xe lắp ráp trong nước và xe nhập khẩu đều tăng. Tuy nhiên, tăng trưởng của sản lượng xe nhập khẩu nguyên chiếc bán ra ấn tượng hơn với mức tăng 62%, gần 19,1 ngàn chiếc. Nếu chỉ tính riêng tháng 7 thì sản lượng xe bán ra đã đạt trên 12,6 ngàn chiếc, tăng 2% so với tháng liền trước. Tháng 7 năm 2014 đã là tháng thứ 16 liên tiếp, doanh số bán hàng của thị trường ô tô đã cao hơn cùng kỳ năm ngoái. Tâm lý của các nhà sản xuất và kinh doanh ô tô khá lạc quan. Và mà dự báo, sản lượng ô tô bán ra toàn thị trường năm nay có thể đạt 130.000 chiếc, tức sẽ tăng 18% so với năm 2013. Chào mừng quý vị đã đến với chương trình câu chuyện kinh doanh trên FBNC. Thưa quý vị, sau một thời gian ảm đạm, từ đầu năm đến nay, thị trường ô tô Việt Nam đã có nhiều diễn biến lạc quan. Cùng với sự diễn biến này, các hãng ô tô cũng tích cực đưa ra những chiến lược kinh doanh mới, tiếp tục góp thêm vào sự sôi động của thị trường. Với chủ đề chiến lược kinh doanh mới của Vinastar tại Việt Nam, đến với câu chuyện kinh doanh ngày hôm nay, Quang Vinh xin giới thiệu đến quý vị ông Yamana là tổng giám đốc của Vinastar Việt Nam. Welcome Hello. to the show. Thank you very much. Okay. Well, today we will talk about the, the strategy sure. of uh, your business here mm -hmm. in Vietnam. First of all, let me ask you the question. Um, about two years of slowdown, we can mm -hmm. see the um, picking up of mm -hmm. the car market mm -hmm. in Vietnam. Mm -hmm. So what do you think about the <coughs> reason behind the, uh, the, um, the, the growth? Well, basically, Vietnam is a very promising market mm -hmm. with a great potential for growth. Because the car in operation in Vietnam is still very low mm -hmm. compared to the developed uh, countries. Okay. And of course, you know, even with uh, the other ASEAN countries. Well, there may be some small fluctuations from time to time mm -hmm. due to the economic situation right. or political or uh, uh, tax situation. But long-term tendency of the growth in Vietnam market is very strong, mm -hmm. very firm. And I believe that Vietnam with a 90 million population, very diligent people, is a very promising and very much growth market. Mm -hmm. So talking about the number, mm -hmm. give me like the percentage of you expecting for the growth. 20%, 25%? Well, you know, this year, uh, up from uh, January to uh, June, for the first half year, mm -hmm. the market, total market, grow, has grown by 27%. Mm -hmm. Our sales, Mitsubishi car sales, uh, has grown by 20, uh, 31%. So from that view, the market is growing good and our sales is growing mm -hmm. even better. Mm -hmm. So our know, tendency is good for us. However, we are not satisfied with such uh, the number. Mm -hmm. We are expecting even higher mm -hmm. growth or uh, accelerate the second half of the sales uh, uh, the second half, of, second half of, the, of the this year. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. Uh, the next question I want to um, ask you is that um, <coughs> Vinastar has a good stre uh, strength in uh, SUV, mm -hmm. okay, and pickup trucks. Mm -hmm. So what do you think about the demand of these two product lines in, um, <coughs> in the past time? Yes. Uh, well, you know, uh, Vinastar Motors is a uh, uh, manufacturer and the sole distributor of Mitsubishi Motors products. Mm -hmm. Well, Mitsubishi Motors is uh, uh, very good at, uh, very strong in SUV segment, and also uh, pickup trucks. Well, we were the pioneer of uh, uh, making the pickup model, pickup uh, 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 trucks as a global player. Well, pickup truck is originally mm -hmm. a commercial vehicle, mm -hmm. but we are the first one who put in the market uh, with a double cab as a passenger car mm -hmm. with uh, uh, commercial use and also you know, uh, multi-purpose uses. Mm -hmm. That was quite successful in Europe. 
I think also in Vietnam, those uh, models with uh, uh, passenger car use for the commercial usage mm -hmm. as well and off-road driving, mm -hmm. and that would fit uh, the Vietnam uh, customers' mm -hmm. needs. So well, I think this is good you know, for a gross uh, segment. Okay, what about the uh, hatchback uh, mm. model? Mm. Uh, it's an understanding yeah. it's not doing too well in Vietnam. Well, so. well, well we introduced you know, uh, Mirage last year. Well, you know, I, I said uh, we are strong in uh, SUV or pickup trucks, mm -hmm. but we also, the Mitsubishi Motors, also have a long history uh, manufacturing uh, passenger cars. The Mirage, for example, mm. uh, was uh, uh, first uh, introduced in Japan in 1978, so a long time ago. And uh, uh, apart from the uh, uh, SUV segment uh, customers, we also like to cover uh, other important market mm -hmm. in Vietnam. Mm -hmm. Well, as we uh, believe that the middle class uh, people mm -hmm. are getting more income and uh, they will be uh, the customer of uh, passenger cars. I think you know, the, those uh, uh, B segment cars, Mirage, and also we are going to introduce Atroage, mm -hmm. those are the perfect uh, car for the fast car buyers. Okay. Well, there's a concern that uh, CBU is going to dominate the uh, Vietnam car market, mm -hmm. okay, with very strong growth. Mm -hmm. So especially when the tariff imposed on the car from Southeast Asian mm -hmm. countries reduced mm -hmm. to zero mm -hmm. in 2018. Mm -hmm. So what is your opinion on mm -hmm. this possibility? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, as a car, uh, car manufacturer or a distributor in Vietnam, our main objective is to offer high quality, reliable car with a very affordable price. Okay. Right. In order to achieve such objectives, we find we try to find the best source, either producing here in Vietnam or import the build up car from other countries. Mm -hmm. That decision can be made based on the different factors. For example, economic situation, mm -hmm. or political or, or, or tax situation. The currency. Currency situation, situation as well. Yeah. And of course, our, com our own company situation. Yeah. So those are the factors we have to decide to source the best car mm -hmm. for the customers. In 2018, we don't know what's going to to happen. to happen. So uh, we have to be ready. We have to adapt ourselves mm -hmm. to achieve such objectives, offering the best car mm -hmm. to the customer mm -hmm. in 2018. Mm -hmm. Well, in your opinion, what do you think about customer attitude to Vietnam made car and foreign imported car? Well, you know, uh, we are at least going to offer the same quality product wherever it is produced. Okay. We are uh, going to uh, secure the Mitsubishi quality. That is everywhere in the world. Doesn't matter it's where it's made. Exactly. Wow, that's good to hear. Well, thank you very much for your sharing. Vừa rồi là phần 1 của câu chuyện kinh doanh. Chúng tôi sẽ quay lại ngay sau ít phút nữa.